And uh, Rob, of course, we just talked about Jalen Brown and his name being in these trade rumors for Kevin Durant. His teammate Jason Tatum's name is not in the trade rumors. And Tatum actually has a relationship with Durant. He was at Durant's screening last night of the new movie Point Gods. Congratulations to Kevin Durant. I'm sure it sounds great. I definitely want to check it out. Uh, but Jason Tatum's me. was among those players. Yeah. <laughs> Jason Tatum was among those down. players. Players uh, that was there last night. And, of course, on the red carpet, Rob, where the media was, he was asked, of course, about the trade rumors that uh, at least potentially are saying Kevin Durant could wind up with him in Boston he handled it. I thought he handled it well. Others didn't think so, but I did. Here's what he said. I mean, I played with him during the Olympics, obviously. You know, it was a great play. Uh, but that's not my decision, you know. Uh, I love our team. I love the guys that we got. Now, we got two, we got two new pieces. Um, I love our team, right? Uh, like I said, I'm, I just go out there and play with my teammates. So, that's not really – I don't put that hat on to make decisions. Quickly, Rob, before we get into the meat of this conversation, do you have any problem with what Tatum said? No. I mean, what he said I think was legit, and that's what you should say. He didn't throw his teammates under the bus. Didn't, oh, yeah, we got to get Katie. You know, like Jalen Brown can't come back and be like, dude, what are, you, what are you doing? You know what I mean? And he was complimentary of KD. So, like, I thought he handled himself well. But here's the question I want to throw at you, Rob. Should Jason Tatum want Kevin Durant? We both have been saying, look, if they can get it, I mean, I have. I, I think you have it. You agree. If Boston can get Kevin Durant without giving up Jason Tatum, do it. I think it will make them the favorites in the Eastern Conference, if not the entire league. So I would do it as much as I like Jalen Brown. But this is what I'm throwing at you. Should Jason Tatum, a two-time first-team All-NBA guy, including this season, outplay Kevin Durant in the playoffs, should he want Kevin Durant in Boston? No, I don't think he should. Wow. I really don't. I don't think he wow. should. Now, if the organization goes out, Chris, and they do it, I'm not saying you're going to reject him, but I'm no, saying like right. him out there saying, yeah, I want like Kevin privately. Durant. Exa but no, of course he shouldn't go to bat for it. We know that. But privately, no, you no. know, okay. Wow. I, I just, I don't believe he should. I believe he should look at it and go, look at where I've gone so far without anybody, right? The Eastern Conference Finals, what they've been, three times? Three they times. Went to the, they, went, they went to the finals last this past season. Without him, I beat Kevin Durant. I beat Giannis on the way. You know, like, I want to do my own thing. And Giannis did that. And I think Giannis got a lot of respect for it. And I think if J if you're Jason Tatum, the problem is if when Durant joins, you automatically become the number two guy and you don't get full credit for what has just happened because you got a all-time great uh, who joined you, and if, if you're on the same team with him, he's the better player. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I don't care how well you play. People look at him and think Kevin Durant's the better player of the two. So that's why I think from his own legacy, wanting to do his own thing, if he was able to win a championship, Chris, this past year, and had they beat Steph and those guys, it would have been – a big feather, you know, people were trying to crown him too early. You remember that? Jason Tatum's right. the like like you gotta win first. And I think if I was this close, it's not like he's 30 and I don't know if I'm gonna win. Right? Jason Tatum's how old, Chris? 24, 24. 24. 24. He's not even 24 and a half. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you is like, no, you got time. If you were 30, Chris, and you couldn't get there, and now it's been 10 years and you just can't get over the hump, maybe I'll buy into that. But he's young. He's done a lot. Not enough, but he's done a lot. And I think I want – give me a, a few more years to try to make this happen on my own before you bring in a, a, a guy that I'm going to have to take a backseat to. That's just me. I'd rather do it that way.
Rob Parker. Stop it! You're Meshugana. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh, what? Uh, uh, what? Yes. I mean, look, I didn't have a problem with Steph bringing on KD. I did. All right? No, I didn't. He got four rings now. He got two with KD, two without him. And he, KD he's took proven his lunch money KD. and his and No, his he team. didn't. Rob Parker, their teammates. Did Magic Johnson take Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's lunch money? No, he took his no, weed money back but then. But he was the man for the last <laughs> four titles. Magic was the Lakers' best player for the Kareem's last four titles. If you want to argue the fourth or the third one for Kareem, he certainly was the best player for the last three, and I would say four because the fourth, the the uh, third title for Kareem in '82, Magic led him in rebounding, rebounding over Kareem, assists, steals, and averaged 18 points to Kareem's 23. So I, but nobody looks at that and, and poo poos Kareem when when Do, when most did Moses Malone take Dr. J's lunch money? No. But it became his team. He was no, the man. But in that case, when Kevin Durant showed up, he won those two finals MVPs. So, so what? Always Moses looked, was saying. finals MVP too. And Magic was finals MVP in 82. Worthy was once. Kareem was one out of his last four rings. Yeah, I'm but just the, saying, like, they're teammates. You're trying to win. And I, I think here's I, I the I wouldn't thi- do it. Here's the other thing, Rob. To your point, we, we have different ways of looking at it, but you do make a good point, I think, that boasts my, boosts my argument. When you say you're, Tatum's not 30, I guess it could be – it, it kind of boosts yours too. It can be looked at different ways. But I look at it this way, Rob. He's 24. If he get how many years, great years, does Durant have left? Three? I think three is like max – and I say that not because his game's going to, like, leave him, but because of his health. Like, we all, we've said it ad nauseum. He's only played 90 games in the last three years. So if they get three good years out of, Durant, like, great Kevin Durant-type years, they're great. And what if he and Tatum win just one title? But let, don't even get me started on if they win two. But if they just win one title, like, Jason Tatum has the rest of his career. He's got at least a decade, probably more, to win a title on his own. So I just think, no, if I'm Jason Tatum, and I get it, you're right, there's no way I'm going out there publicly. I'm not even going to the front office and being like, look, let's get this done. I'm staying out of it. Because I don't know what his relationship with Jalen Brown is, but obviously they make a good tandem on the court. And if the trade doesn't happen, you know, you don't want any secrets. You don't want any tension. So and I stay you, all, out of all it. All you I'm need here. is one person in that Celtics front office yep. to tell their friend that, yep. that he came up there politicking for KD. And yep. you know that. Could be Chris. an agent, Rob. Could yep. be an agent. And then they poison the well and, yep. and say he was up there pushing for it and whatever, whatever didn't happen. And that's all it takes. That's why Absolutely. you're right. You want to stay, stay out as much as you can because it can come back to bite you. But see, I, I, I just, I, I can't believe you're saying Jason Tatum shouldn't want Kevin Durant because I think he wants to win. And I look, I do think Durant is better than Tatum. But Tatum's a better defender at this point, for sure. Um, and I don't know who would play better. Maybe, maybe Tatum might play better. You know, next not, in the not with a hundred turnovers. I'm just saying. Well, no, but he's young, and maybe he learned from it. You know, we've seen bad. LeBron was bad in his first finals. Larry Bird had two eight point games in his first finals. Had Cornbread Maxwell. With all due respect, was the Finals MVP in Bird's first championship. So guys can get better in the finals. Um, but yeah, Rob, I, I just, I'm sorry. Like, I can't believe that you would say Jason Tatum shouldn't want Kevin Durant. No, I just wouldn't do it. I I want to do it on my is own. Is it I about think, being selfish or no, getting all about, the credit or is I, it about I, winning? 
No, Especially, it's, it's not like he's going to become a role player. No, he's still going to be doing his thing, getting you 25 got a, a night. You, you got something going already. I don't need Do that. they? Yes, they went Maybe. to the finals. They went to the finals. So are they your I, favorite in the East right now? No, but but it's but okay. It's, there it's you still, go. But it's still the point of I, I want Giannis did his own thing. Everybody ridiculed Giannis for staying in Milwaukee, Chris. But hold on, oh, I don't you think can't Giannis would have. And, and I, Giannis got points. He's got points from people in that he stayed Does there. He? People have yeah because JJ have respect Redick for that. didn't even have him in the top three. We did well, a segment that, okay. on. I don't know and if you were here for that, Rob G. We did a segment on guys dissing Giannis. Like, well, here, why here, are dudes, you know, underestimating Giannis? Well, uh, so I don't said, know that he got points. And I'll say since, this, Rob. Since when is J.J. Redick the end-all, be-all No, but he's basketball? not the only one. It was Rob G. Look, get, get on here when you can because we had a whole list of guys. I think Barkley had said something about Giannis. There, were, there was a list of guys, certainly better players than Redick. But, Rob, I get what you and, – and we've talked about that. Yes, it looks better for Giannis – that he won the championship in Milwaukee without a second superstar. But I don't it, – it's different if the dude comes to your team. Like, Kevin Durant is coming to Tatum's team. Now, granted, he'll become the best player, we, we believe. But he's still going to your team. It's not like Tatum's running to him. Oh, I got to win, so I'm going to his team. No, but the story would be Tatum couldn't get it done – he went to three Eastern Conference Finals. He went to a championship, couldn't get well, it done. He's a young kid. He, no, I'm just saying. And Kevin Durant showed up, and now they won. I, that's the storyline, Chris. That would be the story. I actually think you can. I mean, I don't think it's you think the, that would not. You think that wouldn't be the story? No, I don't think that would be the story. Oh, and I also, story. and I do think that there's a potential backlash against Durant. Because, yeah, I get it. Golden State was a far better team and had already won a championship than this Boston team would, what is. But it's similar, Rob. Boston, Golden State beat Durant in the playoffs in embarrassing fashion, coming back from a 3-1 deficit in the conference finals. Boston beat Durant in an embarrassing playoffs with sweeping them and, Dur- and Tatum out playing him. They both, Golden State and Boston, get to the finals. And actually play well, even though they lose. And then Durant goes to a team that just reached the finals and beat him in the playoffs. I mean, I think there are people that might look at it that way. Like, dude, we thought you wanted to, like, prove you could lead a team. It's the same thing you did in Golden State, almost. Not quite, but very darn near close. And so I I think, I don't think it hurts Tatum at all. Especially if he plays well. Now, if he is in the finals and mucks it up again and doesn't play well... And Durant just clearly carries him, and he's getting very little help from Tatum, the turnover machine. That's one thing. But if Tatum plays well, even if he's the second-best player, I don't think it hurts him at 25 years old. Rob Parker, (laughs) Meshuggana, says Jason Tatum shouldn't want the great Kevin Durant. Are you nuts? I say he should. Rob says he shouldn't. What say you? Max, in Georgia, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What up, oh, Max? I, I wonder what Max is going to say. Ah, uh, Chris, I was going to curveball, but I knew you'd slam it out of the park. So, for me, <laughs> look, I thought this kid was cut from the Kobe cloth. This is not a Kobe thing. Yes. Um, Kobe lost didn't to the Kobe Celtics, win his first back, three rings with it. Shaq? He didn't want Shaq, though. That's why he got Shaq no, out of L.A. Want, he didn't get him like that, Chris. He came back after losing to the big three Celtics. That way, he came back and did it the right way again. The hard work, the sweat, the ethic, the, everything that goes right into that. And I think um, you never respect or know your opponent more than when you battle with them. And that's what those guys did this, this past uh, playoff. But you should want to do it again. That's what I want to see. We, don't, we didn't see Kobe and LeBron team up, right? We don't want to see that. We saw Love LeBron down. and Wade. Love it. LeBron and AD. Love it. <laughs> Hey, uh, KD Jim. And, and Steph. Jim in Florida. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Jim? How you doing, guys? Uh, What's doing up, great. Jim? Six foot two fifty. Oh, is that the wrong show? Yeah, that's the I wrong show. To say that, uh, <laughs> what? That, to that's say on that, the Dinosaur uh, Network. Uh, that sounds uh, like uh, Rob G. Six foot two fifty. <laughs> I mean, five six two fifty. Oh wow, wow. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say that uh, Boston just keep what they got, man. They don't need Durant going in there and messing everything up, man. They got a good thing going, and 
they're going to make it over to Hump. They're young guys, you know. They There's gotta, an argument for that. Um, I yeah. would probably go no. for Durant, but they, they're in the hunt. They, they're not. I don't think they're the favorite. Some people think they are in the East. They came close, Rob. Yeah, you you can make that argument, but I don't know. I think I'd go for KD. He's still one of the best three players in the world. If we had another call, I would skip him, but we don't. Nick in South Carolina, you're in the <laughs> I couple. Nick, Fox do Sports your Radio. thing, brother. Hey, Rob, how are you going to do that to me, man? I actually agree with you today. Do what? you? I can't believe this. I'm shocked. Why? I do, Why? I do. Hey, no, Tatum. Tatum should not want KD. And, and listen, I think it's obvious by by now that KD is a beta. So what he does is he goes to these teams and steals the thunder from the alpha because he's better at padding stats. So Tatum needs to look at look at the backlash Curry got from playing with KD. I oh. mean, Curry already won a championship playing without KD, but yet there was this fake narrative that KD impacted the Warriors more than Steph because he put up nicer looking numbers. So I think Kid, you know, Tatum needs to do his thing, and I think in due time he'll get the credit he's due. Wow, Nick, you shocked me there. Just totally shocked me. I'm disappointed, <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, Nick, I'm call anytime. Did you hear that? Call anytime. I'm disappointed. Nick, Nick finally stopped with the, uh, you know, with his uh, Chris Broussard narrative and just thought for himself and uh, decided to come correct. I love it. 